Welcome everybody back to the Energy Wrestling episodes, our main show on this channel. Make sure you smack the like button, subscribe to the notification bell, turn on so you're missing uploading. If you watch the video from start to finish, you're part of the awesome squad. I'm Eric Bischoff, off along with my partner commentating Jerry the King Lawler. I have a terrible feeling here tonight that this episode is going to get out of control. Especially after what happened last episode on WT's pay-per-view event, Extreme Limit. When the unthinkable happened during Kane and Steve Blackman's hardcore match for the Hardcore Championship. Check out that at the top right hand corner of this video to watch the pay-per-view event along with our main channel and our second show, WT Indie Series. Thank you so much for all your support, guys, and it really means a lot to us. When what the hell, the Ministry of Darkness... Steve Blackman, Rob Van Dam, and Billy Kevin in the leader, and the OT Wrestling Champion, The Undertaker, in the ring. What the hell is going on? You see, last episode of WWE's pay per view, Extreme Limits, I had a choice to make. And that choice was to recruit another strong member to my Ministry of Darkness. Now that I have recruited Steve Blackman to the Ministry of Darkness, the Ministry is getting stronger, and at Extreme Limit, I have proved to the WWE wrestling fans what lengths I am willing to go in order to make my ministry stronger when I buried this spade shovel into the back of my brother's skull sending him to the hospital with a serious concussion and making him get over 23 staples in his head let this be a lesson to everybody backstage Everybody watching at home, nothing, and I mean nothing, will stop my ministry and myself from taking over WWE Wrestling. Holy hell, some powerful words by the Ministry of Darkness leader. The following contest is a triple threat match, and it is for a shot at the WWE Wrestling Championship. Introducing first, in the ring now, we have Tess. And his opponent in the other corner, WT Tough Enough winner, Michael. And his opponent making his way to the ring now, the Olympic gold medalist, Kurt Angle. And here he comes, Kurt Angle making his way to the ring, wasting little to no time getting in that ring ready to fight. Oh, but Tess now with a huge clothesline. And another clothesline to Kurt Angle in the corner. Oh, my God. Oh, what a kick by Michael. And now, Angle's got a test. Oh my god, what a maneuver by Kurt Angle. Belly to back suplex. Oh, but Michael with a neck breaker. Goes for a cover. One. Oh, but Angle got the shoulder up at one. Oh my god, but test with that garbage can right to the head of Michael. And now he's looking for more weapons here. Test not pulling out a table. But wait. Oh my god. Angle with a, a moonsault. Off the top of the turnbuckle, just planted Tess's face right into the table. Angle now setting that table up. Oh, Michael! Michael now just completely obliterated the table with a spear. A spear right to Kurt Angle through that table. Angle's down, going for a cover. One, two. Oh, but Tess out of nowhere interrupts the count. He picks up Michael now. Oh, throws him face first right into the turnbuckle. Test now going to get the steel steps. Oh, wait a minute. Michael just kicked him. And he fell right into the steel steps there. Michael now throws Test right into the ring. And now what is Michael doing grabbing that garbage can? Oh, my God. He's put that garbage can on top of Test's chest there. Looking at the crowd. What does Michael have in mind here? What is Michael doing? He's going to the top here. Oh my god. Oh, five star frog splash. A five star frog splash. Right to test. Oh my god. Michael's going for a cover. One, two, three. Here is your winner and number one contender for the WTA Wrestling Championship. Michael. Oh my god. Michael has done it. He's become the number one contender for the WT Wrestling Championship. But you know what that means? That means he's going to have to go up against the leader of the Ministry of Darkness, The Undertaker. The following contest is a fatal four-way ladder match. 
And it's for a shot at the Intercontinental title. Only way to win this matchup is to climb the ladder, retrieving the briefcase, holding the Intercontinental title shot contract high above the ring. Introducing first in the ring now, we have Randy Orton and his opponent, Batista, and making his way to the ring now, Mr. Kennedy. Oh no, Mr. Kennedy's going to grab that mic and do that stupid intro that he usually does. Oh, but Rob Van Dam, the other participant in this matchup, oh my god, attacking Kennedy from behind, getting the matchup started early. What a vicious attack from behind. Oh my god, what a chair shot. Oh, Batista just kicked him right in the face there. Oh my god, remember everybody hates the Ministry of Darkness in this company. Oh my god, Kennedy. Oh, with a ladder right to the back of Rob Van Dam. Kennedy now picking up another ladder. He's got plenty of ladders to choose from in this ladder match. What the actual hell did Kennedy just set up here? He just set up some sort of structure with that solid steel ladder. But somebody better stop Batista. He's getting to the top of that ladder in the ring. Batista can touch the briefcase here. But Orton now. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god, Batista! Batista's feet are stuck! They're stuck in the ladder! Or what are you gonna do? Oh my god! Oh my god! Did you see that sacrificial dive by Randy Orton? Right to Batista! He can have broken ankles! Kennedy making sure that ladder structure set up, but wait a minute! Oh, Rob Van Dam with that ladder shot right to the back of Kennedy. And now Rob Van Dam looking at that ladder there and looking at the ladder structure, please. Oh, my God. Remember, his team, the Ministry of Darkness, wants to prove a point with violence. Oh, my God. Now, what is he doing here? No. Oh, face first. Face first about the ring steps. What the actual hell does Rob Van Dam have in mind? Rob Van Dam set Kennedy up on top of that ladder, and now he's going to the top. Oh my god, Randy Orton watching as Rob Van Dam is at the top of that ladder. Oh my god, please don't do this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. He went right through that ladder. You have got to be kidding me. Rob Van Dam putting his body on the line. Randy Orton looking in shock as he's going to attempt to climb the ladder now. Oh, oh but he's going to jump out of nowhere with a spine buster. And now what's he doing? Oh my god, now Batista set up another ladder structure. You've got to be kidding me right now. Batista climbing the ladder now. What the hell is he doing? Batista's almost got the briefcase, but Orin! Oh, Orin! Orin with the farm right to the back of Batista there. Orin's got by Batista by the neck. No! Oh my god! RKO! RKO! Off the top of the ladder! Through the other ladder now! You have got to be kidding me! And now, Randy Orin picking himself up here. Going to the top of the ladder. This could be it. Here's your winner and number one contender for the WT Intercontinental Championship, Randy Orton. Randy Orton has done it. Randy Orton has got the briefcase. Unbelievable. Look at the carnage. It looks like a car wreck on I-95 here. Oh, my God. Here we are in the backstage area. What the, what the hell? Get a, get a cameraman over there. Eddie Guerrero is just leaving Shane McMahon's office. What the hell? What the hell is Eddie Guerrero doing in there? Where is Rikishi? Eddie, where the hell have you been, damn it? You're my manager, my property. You stay with me. Oh my god, what the hell? What a jerk. Actually, I say, Shane McMahon just gave me the best opportunity because. If I beat Big Show of Mankind in a triple threat elimination match next for the main event, I will no longer have to be your manager. Oh my god, huge stipulations for the main event next. Rikishi can't just believe what Eddie Guerrero just said. The following contest is the main event this evening. The following contest is a triple threat elimination matchup. Introducing first to the ring now, the world's largest athlete, The Big Show. And his opponent in the ring now, in the other corner, Mankind. And his opponent making his way to the ring now, Eddie Guerrero. Huge stipulation on the line for Eddie Guerrero, the manager of this show. 
Shane McMahon said that if Eddie Guerrero can beat both these men here tonight, he no longer has to be Rikishi's manager. And by the way that Rikishi is treating Eddie, I don't blame this poor son of a bitch, to be honest with you. What the hell? Wait a minute! Oh my god! Rikishi! Pulls Eddie Guerrero out! Ah, what the hell? Eddie Guerrero gets... No, no, no! Oh! Thrown right into the steel steps! Rikishi's making sure that Eddie Guerrero loses this match and... Oh my god, what a 500 pound splash! And now Mankind getting outside of the ring, picking up... Eddie Guerrero, no! One, two... But Eddie Guerrero got the shoulder up, he got the shoulder up! Eddie Guerrero trying to get back to his feet as Mankind just pulled out a baseball bat. Oh, Eddie Guerrero out of nowhere with a reverse elbow right to Mankind. And now Eddie Guerrero sliding back into the ring here. I was going to say out of harm's way, but oh, 500 pound elbow drop by the Big Show. Now look at the strength of the Big Show picking him up. Oh, what a choke slam. What a choke slam. Goes for a cover. One, two. Oh, but Mankind with that ball bat out of nowhere. Oh, Mankind. Whack the Big Show, knocks him right over the top rope. Oh, Eddie Guerrero with a huge kick. Eddie Guerrero now going to the top of the ring post. Oh, no. He fell right on the family tools there because Rikishi moved the ropes, causing Eddie Guerrero to fall. Damn it, security needs to get out of here. Gets Rikishi out of, the, out of this match. What the hell? He's not even part of it. Oh, my God, on a big show. Set up three tables on the outside. What does this crazy bastard have in mind? And now, man, kind of beating the hell out of Eddie Guerrero with that ball bat. Remember, they don't care about the stipulation. It doesn't affect them. They just want to win the matchup. Oh, my God. Big Show's got Mankind by the throat. No, Big Show. Don't do this out to Mankind. No. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Big Show with a hellacious choke slam through the three tables to the outside to Mankind. Oh, my God. What a maneuver by the Big Show. Oh, but Eddie Guerrero with a chair shot. A chair shot right to the back. And now what is this? Oh, what a maneuver by Eddie Guerrero. He goes for a cover. One, two. Oh, my God, but Rikishi. Holy hell. A 400 pound Rikishi just flattened Eddie Guerrero like a pancake. No, 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 don't do this. Oh, oh my God, Samoan drop by Rikishi. And now what is Rikishi doing? Rikishi going to the outside. Not even a part of this match, getting weapons. What the hell? Rikishi just pulled the ladder out of the ring. What is he? What the hell is he doing? Now what is it? Eddie Guerrero! Eddie Guerrero! Oh my God! Eddie Guerrero knocks Eddie knocks Rikishi right down. What a maneuver! Eddie Guerrero jumped over the top rope. That must have felt great for Eddie Guerrero. Oh, but Big Show just kicked Eddie Guerrero right in the skull. And now he's got Eddie Guerrero by the throat. But wait a minute! Oh no! Low blow by Eddie. Big Show holding on to his giblets there. But where did Rikishi's up? Watch out, Eddie. Watch out. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Rikishi just hit Big Show by accident. Eddie Guerrero got out of the way. Oh, my God. He's in shock. Oh. And Eddie Guerrero with a chair shot of the skull of Rikishi. And now Eddie Guerrero sees Rikishi laid out of here. He's going to the top. On the ring post. Five-star frog splash. Right to Rikishi. Oh my god, this crowd's going nuts here. And now Eddie Guerrero picking up the Big Show. Oh, I got a bad feeling about this. Eddie, please don't do this. Please don't do this. He's at him on my altar table. Eddie Guerrero on the top, the top of the ring pose here. Oh! Five-star frog splash right through the announcer table. Mankind's still down. Big Show's down. Number one, two, three. Here's your winner. Eddie Guerrero! Oh my god, you know what this means? Eddie Guerrero is no longer, no longer Rikishi's manager! What a hell of an episode here tonight! Smack the like button! Subscribe to the notification bell, turn on the arrows and upload! What's gonna happen on the next episode of WTE Wrestling?